Welcome to Rehau's Hydronic Underfloor Heating Installation video. This video will demonstrate the key steps involved in a hydronic underfloor heating installation. Rehau provides extensive training to designers and installers of hydronic floor heating systems through the Rehau Academy. In these training seminars, we provide you with the tools necessary to design and install a full hydronic underfloor heating system using Rehau quality components. While this video provides an overview of the process, it is recommended to seek advice and undergo installer training with the Rehau Academy before attempting an installation. One of the most important things we teach at the Rehau Academy is the full installation process, so that when a contractor leaves his class, he can approach his next underfloor heating project with confidence that he knows how to deal with it without hassles. Our students often find great success in the hydronic floor heating industry. They become known locally as experts in their field and they attract steady business by word of mouth. As a Rehau customer, you will have the support of a global leader with 15,000 employees and more than 50 years of polymers experience. Rehau pioneered PEX in 1968 with the introduction of the first PEX-A pipe. PEX stands for cross-linked polyethylene and is known for its toughness, flexibility and high temperature and chemical resistance, making it the ideal material for underfloor heating applications. Today, over 1 billion metres of PEX-A pipe is operating in homes and commercial buildings worldwide. But Rehau is more than just PEX pipe. We are a leading supplier of polymer-based systems for construction, automotive and industry. Rehau's polymer-based solutions contribute to the success of the world's leading furniture, appliance and automotive brands, where they touch the lives of millions of people each day. What drives us are the global trends and challenges that face modern society, such as accessibility to fresh drinking water, world population, wastewater, energy consumption, air traffic, urban mobility, and traffic volume and density. Our current focus in construction is to address green building priorities with integrated solutions that enhance comfort and convenience, reduce energy costs, create healthy and safe environments, and conserve finite resources. Hydronic underfloor heating works by circulating warm water through a network of pipes beneath the floor, by connecting an energy source, like a natural gas boiler, to the pipe network via a distribution manifold. Energy is transferred into the floor. The heat radiates up into the rooms, gently warming the home, creating a comfortable and steady temperature day and night throughout the colder months. Hydronic floor heating has been growing in popularity in Australia and New Zealand due to a trend towards greener building practices and an increasing awareness from architects, engineers and builders as to the many benefits over conventional heating methods. As a result, there is a growing demand for competent, experienced underfloor heating installers to design and install these systems. Rehau has been manufacturing underfloor heating technology, designing systems and training installers and designers globally for over 30 years and has tailored a design service and training program specifically for the Australian and New Zealand construction industries. So join the Rehau Installer Network today to upskill your workforce and add value to your business. Now let's have a look at an installer. This video is to be used as a guide only and should not be used in place of Rehau underfloor heating training or the Rehau technical information and installation guide. Contact your local Rehau office and visit the Rehau Hydronics website for further information on installation and training. Prior to installation, a quote will need to be submitted by the installer. A bill of materials can be obtained for your specific project on the Design Portal section of the Rehau Hydronic Underfloor Heating website at rehau.com.au slash hydronic. A materials quotation can then be obtained by submitting the bill of materials to your preferred plumbing supplier. A full underfloor heating design can also be obtained through our website 
This takes the guesswork out of an installation and enables you to provide an optimised system for your client. Consultation with builder or architect. Building plans change regularly, often at the last minute. Before any installation proceeds, consult with the builder or architect on site to ensure you have the most up-to-date set of plans. Mark out fixtures and walls. It's important that pipe circuits are not laid underneath walls or permanent fixtures. So using a line marker, mark out all the walls and fixtures, such as toilets, baths and benches, as indicated on the building floor plan. Lay pipe circuits. Set up the pipe coil on the pipe unwinder. Install the manifold on the manifold stand and secure in position on the steel reinforcing mesh. The manifold should be located in an appropriate place where it will be hidden but accessible once the house is built. Attach the pipe end of the first circuit into the corresponding manifold port. Secure the pipe to the steel reinforcing mesh in the pattern as indicated on the pipe layout design. Pipes should be secured every half metre so that they cannot move or be kicked out. Pipes can be secured to the mesh either by applying cable ties or reinforcement wire ties using a rebar gun or wire tyre. Cable ties are a cost-effective but labour-intensive option. A rebar gun provides the fastest method of securing pipe, whilst a rebar wire tyre reduces the strain on the installer's back and knees. Whilst all three systems provide a secure method of fixing pipe, using rebar tools will save valuable hours during an installation. Regardless of the chosen fixing method, make sure that the entire circuit is laying flat along the reinforcement so that the depth of pipe is constant once the concrete is poured. Also, ensure pipes are not in contact with any sharp points on the reinforcement. Joining two pipe ends in the slab is possible provided the pipe coupler is wrapped with suitable tape to avoid direct contact with the concrete. Record each circuit length. Lengths and pipe spacing should match the design. Fill and flush and pressure testing. Once floor circuits are laid and connected, the system should be filled with water by attaching a hose to the manifold and bleeding air one circuit at a time from the outlet connection. The system should then be pressurised prior to the concrete pour. Pressure testing should be conducted using a test bucket according to the procedure available in the Rehau Underfloor Heating Technical Manual. The system should remain under pressure while the concrete is poured and monitored regularly. Install zone controls. After the slab is poured and the structure is built, controls will need to be installed. Thermostats control the temperature of the room by opening or closing the flow of warm water to the circuits. A single rehab thermostat can be installed which controls the energy source, or multiple thermostats can control individual rooms or temperature zones via actuators on the manifold. Actuators are installed on the opposite ports to the flow meters. The actuator wires are connected into the thermostats via a wiring centre or distribution controller. Install and commission the energy source. Install the energy source according to the manufacturer's instructions and connect rehau flow and return piping. Once installed and connected, fill the system with water, bleed air and pressurise to the recommended operating pressure. An expansion vessel and a safety pressure valve should also be installed. Circuit balancing. Once the system is operational, each circuit needs to be balanced to ensure consistent heat is applied to all areas. Using the rehab design, follow the hydraulic balancing procedure on the design sheet by turning each control spindle the recommended number of turns. The control spindle is located under the blue cap on the return valve. Check the flow meters match what is recommended on the hydraulic balancing table and adjust accordingly. The installation is now complete. Thank you for your attention. Contact your local Rehau office for training and more information on Rehau's hydronic floor heating systems at rehau.com.au slash hydronic and get authorised as a Rehau hydronic underfloor heating installer today.